The Russian full-scale invasion has resulted in the destruction or damage of nearly 1,000 libraries across Ukraine, according to the Commissioner for the Protection of the State Language, Taras Kremin. Since 2022, Russian forces have targeted and destroyed numerous cultural landmarks, libraries, museums and educational institutions across Ukraine. The Russian authorities also imposed Russian language curriculums in the occupied regions which promote narratives that deny Ukrainian sovereignty and attempt to erase historical and cultural distinctions between Russia and Ukraine. Russian attacks led to the widespread devastation and loss of over 200 million Ukrainian books, Kremlin reports. Kremlin has initiated a project called the Free Read in Ukraine to address this crisis. The initiative aims to replenish library collections, particularly in the heavily affected oblasts of Mykolaiv, Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk, Luhansk, Kharkiv and Sumy. These areas are in urgent need of various types of literature in Ukrainian, including fiction, educational and historical works. Different Ukrainian organizations and schools across the country would be able to join the initiative to collect books for these libraries. Our goal is to restore library collections to the maximum extent and establish this as a state priority, Kremlin stated. In May, a Russian missile attack destroyed a printing house in Kharkiv, killing seven workers and burning 50,000 books, mostly children's materials. The destroyed printing house, Faktodruk, was associated with Vivat Publishing and produced educational and children's content. It should be noted that two years ago, Planet Labs made headlines with incredible photos being beamed back to Earth in real time, showing the horrors of war that Putin has brought to Ukraine. One of the co-founders of Planet Labs, Will Marshall, said that Russia's attempt to occupy Ukraine was documented by a photo from his satellite and his campaign is documenting the atrocities of the Russian armed forces in real time, Forbes reports. Planet Labs has entered into a pact with NATO to help avoid future global conflicts. The company currently has up to 200 satellites circling the Earth, which will help eliminate the possibility of a surprise attack on one country or another. The support that Europe and the United States have for Ukraine continues in part because everyone can see what's going on through these satellite images, Marshall said. Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed Monday they shot down another American-made MQ-9 Reaper drone over the country, with videos purportedly showing a surface-to-air missile striking it. The U.S. military acknowledged losing a drone. The claimed attack comes as the one-year anniversary of the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip approaches. The Houthis have targeted ships traveling through the Red Sea over the war as U.S.-led airstrikes pound their positions in Yemen. That's imperiled a waterway that typically sees $1 trillion of trade pass through it, as well as crucial shipments of aid to war-torn Sudan and Yemen. The Houthis also continue to launch missiles targeting Israel, drawing retaliatory airstrikes from the Israelis this weekend on the port city of Hodeida. Brig General Yehya Sari, a military spokesman, claimed the rebels shot down the MQ-9 in a pre-recorded message aired Monday night, hours after video footage circulated online showing the purported missile striking the aircraft over Yemen's Sada province. A single image online also appeared to show wreckage of the drone, with pieces resembling that of an MQ-9. Later footage released by the Houthis showed rebels had piled up the drone's electronics, likely to see what they exploit from the wreckage. One piece appeared to be from a negative 82 Malawi and Quacha's bomb, which can be armed on a Reaper. Responding to queries from the Associated Press, the U.S. military acknowledged an MQ-9 was downed but we have nothing additional to provide. General Atomics Reapers, which cost around $30 million apiece, can fly at altitudes up to 50,000 feet, 15,240 meters, and have an endurance of up to 24 hours before needing to land. The aircraft have been flown by both the U.S. military and the CIA over Yemen for years. Since Houthis seized the country's north and its capital of Sana'a in 2014, the U.S. military has seen reapers shot down in Yemen in 2017, 2019, 2023 and 2024. The U.S. military acknowledged the Houthis shot down two MQ-9s in September.
سبع عشرة غارة في عدة منشئات على عدة منشئات مدنية في محافظة الحديدة منها الميناء ومحطة الكهرباء ما أدى إلى استشهاد خمسة مواطنين وجرح سبعة وخمسين كحصيلة نهائية يا الله شدد يا الله يا الله يا الله شدد وفق يا الله الله أكبر الموت الأمريكا الموت الإسرائيل كانت عن اليهود النشر الإسلام لبيك يا أقصى لبيك يا أقصى لبيك يا أقصى الآن دائرة تعرك من نوع أمك يونين في سماء سعطة يا الله لك الحمد يا الله يا الله لك الحمد لك الشكر يا الله هذه الآن الطائرة الأمريكية أمك يونين سكتت في أجواء سعطة وما النصر الله من عندنا هذه هي